YouTube. Troy Stars. Troy Stars. Trucking. Thanks for tuning in. And before I start, I just want to say Happy New Year to each and everyone. You know what I mean? I just want to, you know, take the time out to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of my YouTube family. And, you know, I don't know. Um, I don't know how to thank you guys, but thanks. I don't want to be too long because this video is already going to be long. <laughs> For more videos like this, please subscribe. In this video, I just want to make you guys let you guys know I went on a cruise. I went on a second cruise for my vacation. And I, you know, you guys, you guys know that even though I'm a trucker, whenever I go to places and cruises and vacations and, you know, things that I find interested, I share with you guys, right? And the real purpose of this video is finding time for your family finding time for your loved one finding time for you because you know with the trucking world and with other jobs that you may stay away from home for a long period of time you want to ensure that you find some time for yourself i know i know guys i know we like to work we like to make sure our paper is stacked up but besides that if you don't get it if you don't do something with yourself for you or for you is like a piece of you is not there it's like you know, you're not getting that vibes and you're always you know you, you, you just need to go out free up release that stress you know fresh that memory come back you know what I mean that's all I'm saying now in this video I just want to share with you guys I went on a cruise and I went to five Caribbean islands that I never been before. I'm lying, sorry. I've been to Barbados, but I went back again and yeah, I enjoyed it. No, like I said before, I don't want to stay too long, but I still want to intro this video because there are a lot of interesting stuff that I want to talk to you guys about. And it is this I went on the islands for the first time, and to be honest with you, I got some history. From the, the tour guys, I have some history about the islands that I never had before. And some was very disturbing. And other than the disturbing areas or disturbing part, the beach was very lovely. The scenery was nice. So I have a catch some footage that I want to share with you guys. So in this video, it's going to be like five Caribbean islands stuck in this one video. So it's going to be a lengthy video, but bear with me. You And also, I think everyone... And I mean everyone should just sit back and just give it a listening ears and understand what I'm trying to say. Now, in this video, there's a bunch of stuff that I didn't, well, it's not that I didn't like. I, I, we couldn't do anything about it. And it was more about the history of the slavery, right? And in St. Thomas, I, when we get the, the first tour guide, he didn't want to talk so much about the history of what was happening on the islands. Uh, you know, because, you know, in St. Thomas is a part of the Virgin Islands. So, you know, the U.S. Uh, purchased that island, take over that, that island, basically. So they basically operate like the U.S., in other words. So there is a lot of information that this guy had told us on the cruise that I have some footage that I am going to show and play with you guys, play for you guys so you can see and hear for yourself most of the historical um things that he talked about and after we lived there we went to send kids and send kids is when we get a private tour and we get some of the raw material and the more historical and the more disturbing and the more everything that was going on basically with the slavery and how they brought us you know from the african country and take us to the caribbean islands slave us and you know i was planting sugar canes and cottons and you know what i mean tobacco and all that just for their, their needs or just to get rich or whatnot you know what i mean but it's a lot so i want you guys to sit back relax you know what i mean you know start drinking your tea leave me some comments tell me what you know more because there's a lot that i didn't get a lot of information on and in this video I'm not going to take too long. I'm going to just go right in the video and show you guys everything that's going on. Try start talking. Basically, I'm just going to give you a breakdown of most of what happened 
before I actually get to the ship. Now, like I said before, this is I'm gonna break down a lot of stuff in this video. Also, I'm gonna give you guys the price, you know what I mean, and also gonna compare it against the cruise that I went on before, as that would be the ship Oasis of the Sea. I'm gonna connect that vacation cruise at the ending of this video or you will see see a link slash across the screen you will you can go and check those out if you're not already we basically board the ship from puerto rico so uh we leave from montreal and when we leave from montreal then we go to new jersey and from new jersey to puerto rico and from puerto rico to the ship and that's how we started so you know we get a balcony and to be honest a cruise like this you don't necessarily need a balcony i'm gonna tell you why um further down in the video So this is outside of the ship. I'm, uh, the ship. I'm not giving you guys too much of a tour of the ship because the ship is not really the eye catchy. And the reason why I said this is because I went on the Oasis of the Sea before, and the Oasis of the Sea is a bigger and more fancier ship than this one. But nevertheless, this one is pretty neat and decent from the inside and out. Now, the first stop we made was in St. Thomas. And St. Thomas, some of the history that I got, is a part of the Virgin Islands. There are other islands around close by St. Thomas. In St. Thomas, there are some big iguana lizards walking freely. So calm. There is just their land. They're just... So that's what I'm talking about. Those big lizard, they're not running. They're, they're, they're just cooling out and welcoming, welcoming us on the highland, I want to say. And no, let me tell you something. Not so brave. I've never been so <laughs> close to an <laughs> iguana no, lizard no. before. I never even, well, I saw it on TV and I saw it at maybe a zoo or a museum somewhere, but never like freely, like just let go. And I, and I was told that people eat this stuff here they boil soup they, they 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 enjoy the meat i don't know but um everyone to their own you can look at the water um you know the caribbean sea give you a different type of feeling you know what i mean but that's not it we got a far way to go and like i said please relax enjoy the tour you know what i mean thanks for your time you know what I mean? Because I know you're going to spend a lot of time in this. And I please, 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 I need your comments. And I need your feedback on who know or went to these islands already. Or who are a member of one of these islands that I'm mentioning. Please leave it in the description. Like, you know, St. Thomas, for example. Let me know. Yes, I am from St. Thomas. Or, yes, I've been there before. There's something to so I could relate when I, when I look in the comment area. Anyway, these are the tour, the tour, I can't say buses, but these are the tour trucks. Basically, they are, they are designed for this type of thing. So, it's a, these are the money-making thing in St. Thomas, in these type of, like, when the cruise comes in and stuff like that. These trucks are what um, make the money from the tourists, basically. So, that's what I was told. So, I'm just giving you back information. Um, so after we leave from the port, car, this is the St. Thomas port. And after we leave from the port, we go all the way to the hills and go and get some history more about the Highlands. So, um, I'm gonna, the tour guide do his part and then I'm gonna come back in as soon as it's my turn to let you guys know what's up or intro the other video or whatnot. So I'm gonna leave it here. And then you guys can enjoy it from here and so forth. So, like I said, we have 
four more islands to go. This is just the first one. Okay. Thank you very much for choosing one of your destinations to be part of the U.S. Virgin Islands, which is the island of St. Thomas. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I just get up from that road because of a few exclamations. Because this over here is a historic outside. This over here is what we used to call in the earlier days action auction block. If you all know what is auction block, you know what I'm talking about. So this is where that we use as that market for that slavery system that we used to have over here. So St. Thomas was the capital of the slavery trade in, in, across some area. The United States bought these islands in 1917. 1970, that is how we become part of the of the part of the United States. Now, all, not only that area was part of that action block. There is another area. If you go a little bit further in downtown Charlotte, Emily, that is where you find what we call Market Square, and you'll be seeing that small bungalow is over here represented. That is one another area that was used as action block. Now, over here. This over here, you'll be seeing a small mound. What are you seeing these two people is that? That is an area because it's a historical site. We have over here our own local government. So whoever going to that government offices before they arrive over here, that is where all of this swearing have to take place. Whether it's the governor, whether it's the senator, or whether it's the congress lady, because we still have a congress lady, although she cannot vote for everything that is going on in Washington, but things that is pertaining to the U.S. Virgin Islands. So that is what we have over here. Now over here to your 11th side, that is our Veterans Park. That is right across that area. We also name it after one of the president of the United States. After he comes by over here to visit our island, we were so happy about it, and we named this park after him, which he called the Franklin Roosevelt Park. So this is it right across that side. Now, on the island of St. Thomas, that is where you are. That is only 32 square miles. It will only give you 13 miles long, 3 miles wide, with a population of only 56,000 people living on that island. Everybody will have their time. Just, I'm not going to hold you all too long. Just two seconds. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is, where our that is what I was talking about, which we call the Black Beds Castle. This is a castle that has been there over 300 years. And I said it was, it was built by the Danish people and named it after the pirates that used to live over across that side. One of the famous pirates that you could find over here, name was Edward Teach. Now that is where you find that 99 steps that was used as that shortcut right across that side, but it's just a little bit lower down that area. We'll be also, you'll be also noticing that 99 steps. Now if you come right over here, there are a few free beautiful ladies. These are free queens that is over here. This is what we call King Agnes, Queen Agnes, Queen Matilda, and also Queen Mary. Now these people, are, oh, they put them over here, and you might be wondering what they are doing over there. In the hills of St. Thomas, basically, where we can stand there and we can look at the ocean and and uh, look at this, the small islands that I was mentioning that is close by the the island of St. Thomas, but they're like part by the sea but they are private lands or private property because they're owned by you know um other people right so after this we went to the, the this the beach and i'm gonna compare all the beach at the ending of the video which beach i prefer which beach i rather and which of one of these islands if you're planning maybe just go going on a trip to one of these islands which one I would recommend for you to go and enjoy yourself based on my experience and what I get within the short period of time. But this beach was very nice. I'm going to say that because I, I carry my sparkly, smart, sparkling gears. That's <laughs> how you pronounce. Yes. And we were looking at shells and stuff. So we were, the, the water was clean. 
I can say that much. Very clean. So we were back to the ship after, and after we we went back to the ship, you know, we you know, the regular like go for dinner and then entertainment throughout the night, like karaoke, um, shows that they have set up throughout the night. But you know, sometimes you're like based on the tour and based on the beach and all that. I was pretty pretty much exhausted, so I just went went to to bed. So this was the next day, and the next day was in Saint Kitts. This is where we have breakfast. Got the breakfast here is at the top deck, basically. So we went there for breakfast, and then I was taking a view of the the uh, Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean um, Sea. And I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show and explain more about that later down in this video so basically here we we came off this is St. Kitts port so we came off here the, the following day because every day is a stop so the following day we came off and me and Shanika we went off to get up basically our intention was to get a private uh, tour because the one that we went on in uh, St. Thomas, basically the guy tell us a lot of history but he held, he held back a lot because after the cruise was the tour was basically finished he was clearing up some of the stuff that he didn't say because he didn't want to offend anyone that's what he said so we were like okay so if that's the case might as well we go on a tour by ourselves so that no one won't get offended and we can actually get more history and get more understanding of, of what's going on because earlier and i don't want to stray away but earlier in the video where you see the the red building that he was painting on he was saying that right there is where they do action on the slaves that when the slaves come in like the, the the buyers come there to buy slave from that red building where he was mentioning about there's a lot of activities going on there so that's what he told us that's after the cruise was actually on the finish but anyway we are now in St. Kitts so let's let us continue with this this one so basically what I noticed about St. St. Kitts when I got there was that the island was very clean the people was very and i can use the word friendly but i think maybe that's just us overall as caribbean people we can greet you just don't get us on the wrong side we can greet you with a smile and we can welcome you and everything can go well until someone make a mistake somehow somewhere i don't know then it can just go the next way but what, what i'm trying to say is we are good people when it comes to greetings so yeah so we're in the we can call this the shopping area this is right after you came off the ship where you can find your diamonds because they, they all talk about diamonds I heard, I heard more about diamonds on this trip than anywhere else so you got this diamond store that the, the, the cruise um, people give you some discount something to go buy a diamond if you want I'm just mentioning it because it was singing out a lot on the cruise but anyway um so yeah we we find it all entire places that we went was pretty much lovely you know it, the cruise was the play the sand kits was enjoyable and here's where shanika find herself with two sons no well a son and a daughter There you go. I don't know where Shanshan get kids from, but I mean, she have. Uh, <laughs> oh man, but they're they're pretty cute though. Okay, so this is the tour, and I'm gonna just a little less leave it from here. Then two, two. yeah, the five. Okay. Cause it's two seventy to the dollar. So what do you yeah. mean? Sorry, it's two dollars and seventy cents. Okay. To one of your dollars. To one US dollars? Yeah. Okay. And this is the, the $10 and the $5? This is the 20 This is the 10 
Okay, the 10, 20, and 5. Yeah. But this is an okay, they are plastic. Well, we're just moving into this now. Okay. This kind of money now. Okay, that's right. So can all hear. the money would be like plastic. This okay. is like the pump, the, the English money. Are the Canadian? The, the, oh, the Canadian of yes, plastic yes. money? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Buildings that you're looking at here are sitting on the ocean. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. All of these buildings, because we didn't have the space to put the shops, so we had to reclaim the land. From the sea? Yeah. So all of this are the ocean. This is reclaimed land. Reclaimed it? Yeah. Well, this is what you built it like you we put it up. What build it up yeah. We put piles around 40 acres of the ocean itself okay. and then we pump sand from outside the ocean into the ocean where we have the piles. So okay. all of these are filled with sand from the ocean. Oh, oh okay. And so under this is just sand. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you, oh, okay, so you pump the, the sand, sand from, from the outside. ocean, yeah. put it put it um, like more in so the sea will yes. back. But okay. at the same time, it makes it deep for the ships to dock. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's all in one. Yes. Okay. If you notice, we're building a second dock. I don't yeah, I saw it. The little, this was wondering why we didn't. The, the one uh, across, across. Yeah, we'll yeah we'll next to you. Next to, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, how come there's two? But all around, here. all these buildings are reclaimed land. Now, if you look this way, you can see the pattern of how the water used to go straight up the main road. If you look, you see over here? Yeah. That's how it used to be. So we used oh. to have the water go straight to the town. Okay. okay. So you can see where we filled in. It's not like what they did in Jamaica, right? Yeah. I, but but the highway. nice people from Jamaica did the Matalan. Yeah. Is they did this work. Oh, they're the other one that did it? Yeah. Okay. The tour guy asks us if we want to go and check the church out because there is a very popular church in St. Kitts that would be one of the biggest and oldest church I was told. Someone correct me if I got this right or wrong. And this church was called St. George's Anglican uh, Church. And basically, we went around there and we got a small tour from the person that is overseen or the person that is um, the tour guide, I, I, want, I should say, of the church that, you know, tell us the history, show us around and stuff like that. So the church was pretty much a historical church, very big, or I should say, huge church and the, when we went inside there, we saw a, a lady that, you know, tell us we could climb to the top of the church roof. And she showed us the step. Not knowing what to expect, you know, but um, we went and trust me, it was a climb. It was a climb that my legs started to hurt. My legs started to hurt when I get back down. So, um, yeah, so basically I'm going to leave it from here, show you guys what's going on, what we went through, and yeah, so back and forth, and I'll get back to you again. Thanks. Now we are on top of the the church in St. Kitts. What's the church? The church, the church, the church is called Anglican. Where is it? I don't remember the church. George, St. George, Anglican. St. Jonathan? St. George, Anglican. St. George Church. Look, we can see the ship from where we are. 
Here's the ship. Let me zoom. That's the ship, Freedom of the Sea. And we are on the roof. And I don't know how I'm getting down, but look at that fall. So far, oh my goodness, look at that. I can see everyone, everything, everywhere. Look at the hills. Oh my goodness. Uh, Kachanika trying to get down. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back down now. So see you guys. Well, I wasn't even vlogging; I was just touring. So see you guys in the next tour. I'm trying to get off the steps. Right here, I'll show you the operation of it. Okay. If you want to do an adult, yeah, during baptism, mm -hmm. the priest stands here. Yeah. yeah. He help us from behind all those stand around to assist them in lighting the candles. Okay. And those who are involved will stand around the aisle. Okay, on, on, on the carpet here? No, just no, where you are. Okay. No, this is all patron sing the St. George. The name of the church is yeah. St. George the Zandal Church. Okay. I see some dust in here because we are doing some cleaning. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Anyhow, inside the circular, okay. outside has an octagon shape, and each side represents a member of Noah's family. Okay. Noah, his wife, their three sons, and their three wives. The same thing with every other pillow. Octagon round, octagon round, just as you have it here. Octagon round. Oh, okay, okay. You see? When octagon is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When you look up at the roof, okay. you tell me what shape you will say it has. It has the shape of something. Uh, uh, like a, a triangular? That's maybe? Noah's Ark turned upside down. Oh. No, so, no, Noah's Ark? Yeah, remember Noah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh. <laughs> so I guess the whole, the emphasis was on Noah at that time. Yeah. Okay, it's Noah's Ark turned turn up, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. At the front, you have some biblical pictures. The one on your far left, baby Jesus in a manger. The other one is John baptizing Jesus. The Last Supper, the crucifixion, the resurrection, and the ascension. At the back, you have four. You come and you stand here. Okay. Okay. Use this room. Yeah, just play anything. Why you want to stand with the What is that music? What, what, is, what is that called? An organ. A pipe An organ. Pipe organ, okay. And when you see the pipe organ, you see the pipes going up to you. Okay. Pull that. Just pull it back. In addition to that, this is number two. This is a oh, okay. Piano. Oh, no, this, this is, is an organ. organ. Oh, my goodness. But she cannot play it because it it's is not locked. plugged in. Yeah, it's locked. See? It's, it's locked. locked. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. So they use mostly on Sunday here, or so they, they use, use all of them? They, they, they use those ones too, on, oh, on Sunday? Yeah. Okay. This is piano number one. Okay. Right there. Piano number two. Okay. So we are fully covered with foot. And look at him when you strike it below. Go ahead, give it hand. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oke, oke. Oke. Oke, oke. Okay. And they welcomed the French and the English to the island. And what they did, they noticed that the land was good for sugarcane. Because sugarcane was like gold back then. Yeah. So the French and the English joined forces together and massacred the Carib Indians. Okay. And then they shared the island among themselves. Okay. But after that, all of them want the island for themselves. But before I go to that, this is the area where they massacred the Carib Indians wow. in this area. Yeah. They used to have their little huts yeah. because this is a river. This runs water sometimes very heavily. Mm -hmm. So they had easy access to water. Yeah. So this is the area, instead of water running, for several days you have blood running down here. That's why we call it Bloody River. Okay. And after the massacre of the Carib Indians, mm -hmm. some of the Carib Indians escaped and went to Dominica. Okay. So even today in Dominica, you still have Carib Indians. They have their own reservation. That has nothing to do with the government. They do their own thing. Mm -hmm. So the French and the English. You said Domin Dominica or Dom Dominica? Dominica. Dominica, Dominica, Re Dominica, Re Dominica Republic, Republic is Spanish. That's yes, different. that's the, okay. This is Dominica. Yeah. So the French and the, the English, they share the island among themselves. Then they all want the island for themselves. So we had two battles between the French and the English. And the English eventually won, so now we are all English. But mm. before the place was separated between French and English. English okay. I always wonder about the volcanoes. So. Where are they? Why? Why? Yeah. Just the history. You see where the rock? The rock in the center? Oh, okay. Oh, That's where? Where, right where the here. steam is coming from? Yeah, oh. right in that area. That's where it blew up. We have 68. Of this, this is sugar plantation. Oh, okay. okay. And we start using these things going back to 1690. Okay. Now this is the only plantation that was run by water power. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. The other side, the windmill that spins. Mm -hmm. This is. So There's a this have the, this have the aqueduct. Mm -hmm. What is that? It it. Like a, a water wheel, the water comes down the aqueduct, spins the juice, mm -hmm. and then that's the way this one will run. And but, that, that would be the cane juice? Yeah, but the other side, the windmill. Okay. This was a building, right? Yeah, it was a oh, big sugar plantation. No, tobacco was one of the crops. This is tobacco? Yeah. Was, 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 was. No, tobacco is right here. This is the big copper bowls, so they would use these bowls to boil the juice of the sugar. Okay. I don't do these things, it makes me sad though. And all of, the, of all of this was done, well, it's slavery, yeah. because all of this work was done by slave yeah, labor. I know. Yeah, so it makes me feel a little sad. And, and then cotton. Cotton was also one of the crops. would process their own sugar. So when the, the, the slaves would come to the different plantations, mm -hmm. but they'd have to buy the slave in the slave market. Yeah, so that's what you'll get, you, you'll get <laughs> your, the price of the slave would be accorded. They wouldn't get a lot from me if I was a slave. You'd get a better price. Jesus Christ. For you, <laughs> right? Yeah. So it all depends on the slave, the their physique. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like yeah. we're animals, basically. Yeah, you get more. It's like product. a bigger cow, it's better. You yeah. Get. yeah, yeah. So they think you, you, they might get a lot of work out of you. Yeah. They get a better price. Jesus. But all of these, these are lava rocks from the volcano. Oh, yeah? And all these were cut by hand. By the slaves. By the slaves. How did they cut? In How did they use to cut it? That's a good question. <laughs> that must take a lot of work. You could bet. Okay, this is the fire in tunnel. The fire the fire, fire, fire in? Yeah, the fire in tunnel. And I'm going to tell you why it's the fire in tunnel. As we, we're going to go inside. Yeah. And this is the this, this stone this fuel, Popeye, right here. Now, if you look inside, what you would see there, you see those big copper bowls? Yeah, those, okay. are, those are pretty, the, the cane? Yeah, they would squeeze the juice of the sugar on mm -hmm. those bowls, mm -hmm. and then the slaves would have the fire going here. They'd have oh. the fire keep the fire going. Oh, so and keep you, blazing. Yes, and you'd have people turning it as the juice of the sugar boil. Mm -hmm. People would be on the top turning it. And you skim the top off. You get the molasses. Okay, yeah. And as they keep doing that, you get the brown sugar. Yeah, so oh, okay. The so so yeah. the molasses come first? On top. Okay. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, in those days, there were no cement. Mm -hmm. So how did they construct something like this without cement? Mm -hmm. What they did, they used the lime that blew out of the volcano because you can crush it like flour. Okay. And they mixed that with the molasses and that served as the mortar. See, that's why you have this color. Okay. So this is lime and molasses mixed together Okay. in order to stick the rocks together. Oh, okay. That's what they used. Oh. And, and because they didn't have cement, so that's but it, but and it, it, and it's, it's still, it's still, it's still, old, still old now. So. Yeah, so this is a sweet building. <laughs> and we do not have rocks we do not have bricks here no but what they did when they bought the, the, the bricks limestone? to it, they have to take back something on the boat so they take back the sugar to ballast the boat okay. so they bought bricks they use it in the construction and they take back sugar okay so these bricks came from England okay so what's back there it's the same idea as you go down. Oh, so it's more than one. Yeah, you have those holes. You still have lots oh, of okay, 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 okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah. there's a lot of boiling going on in there. From the molasses, yeah. to make rum? To make a rum from the molasses. We, we had some archaeologists in here from the U.S. And they make a digging. And they found out that this used to be the rum distillery. All of this were covered with soil. Oh, yeah? All of this were covered. Oh, so the rum, rum was underneath. Yeah. Yeah, so this was on the lid. So because they make a digging, they found out that this is where they used to have the rum distillery in mm -hmm. those days. Oh, the archaeologists, yeah. yeah. That they dig up things. Yeah, from so they, they make digging from different mm -hmm. places on the island. And this is one of their. If you notice, there's a sign. There's a sign yeah, that gives yeah. you an idea yeah. someplace. See it right here. Yeah. This no. one too. I guess that's okay. how they used to do it. How they used to make yeah, the, the, there's the rum. There's a sign that tells you I'm going up. Uh, uh, also, that's a price for Chuho? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, for Chuho. Did you hear that? Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Chuho, Chuho. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, Shan-Chan. Beautiful, eh? Yeah. Yes, we, you know, we, we have something America. like this in Jamaica, I think, no? Yeah, but I haven't seen there, I haven't been there in a while. Somewhere, this reminds me of, you know, when you're on your way to Ochi, the old path, not the highway. Oh, oh, okay. through the... Yeah. Kind of Gully. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you, you even see a lot of monkeys right in this area. Oh yeah? Yeah. Right. They swing, they swim on the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, here is what I was explaining to you guys about. Now, this view are you looking at right now is part is the Caribbean Sea and the next section is the Pacific Pacific Ocean. Sorry. So here is the Pacific Ocean and on the other side is the caribbean sea and it's all like not giant together but um you know that's the difference so basically we choose to go to the caribbean sea or the caribbean section and to be honest i wasn't feeling this beach so much 
um, which is in Ken, Ken, um, Saint Kitts. So basically, the tour, the area, the place was, you know, very nice, but the beach wasn't uh, wasn't so much. This where we are, where we are right now is basically the we're in Antigua and uh, this is how we've been greeted in Antigua Antigua. This guy is here playing music and stuff like that. Um Yeah, so basically now we are heading in the, the, the port of Antigua after we leave the ship, you know. So this is the, the following day. Third island. So this is the third island that we are ha we are on with the seven day cruise. And basically, for Antigua, was also, um, the island was small and it was also, like, interesting. I didn't get so much history on it, because I guess the driver or the tour guy that we had, he just um, t tell us mostly about churches and um schools basically and one and two stuff you know what i mean but yeah so i'm just gonna show you guys a short clip and then we i can back to with you guys Island. thanks we headed down in an area called english harbor okay as you push along we have the general post office to the right general post office right here on the right hand side Yep. And this street is called Long Street. And the reason why they call it Long Street is because it's the longest street in St. John. St. John is the capital of Antigua. Alright? For those of you, we drive on the left-hand side at all times. Okay? Our side, the left side, is the correct side. Okay? Now coming up here on the left, we have the Immigration Department. Right here on the left, the Immigration Department. And Make as, sure everybody got the papers. Yes. <laughs> now, when you come to the island for the first time, guys, they give you roughly two months. Two months, automatically, you get two months in the state. Now, if you fall in love with the island and you give them a very good reason, then they will extend your stay. But two months is a lot of time given here. All right? On the left is our downtown museum. That's the Museum of Antigua and Barbuda to the left. Yes. To the right is Market Street. This street is the busiest street in Antigua and Barbuda. It's called Market Street. And once we make our way, we're going to make get it out of town shortly, guys. It's going to take us roughly 30 minutes to get down on the other side of the island. Roughly 30 minutes, they're about. It all depends on traffic and stuff like that, okay? Now, for those of you first time to the island, this is your tour as well. If there's any question you want to ask me, you can ask me. If I don't know the answer, I'll just make something up quickly. <laughs> All right? To the left is the oldest church in St. John's. That's the Anglican Cathedral. Yes, Anglican, yes. That's the Anglican church right there. Yes. Yes, that's the Anglican church. And as we push along, we on Long Street. It's called Long Street. Long Street. No air condition. Huh? The telephone, stuff like that, right there. That's where you pay your bills, yes. Most of the bills by the government. That's a government office, okay? Mm -hmm. So as we make our way across the Independence Avenue, whatever we're doing now, guys, you would not see this on the way back. We're coming back a different way. So whatever you're seeing, take a very good look at it. On the right hand side, we have the country pond. Years ago, they call it Congo pond. And Congo is something like a lobster, small lobster. And years ago, people used to fish in it a lot, but nobody does that anymore. It's about 50 feet deep, simple as you see it there. So whenever, we're, whenever we have a, like a shortage of water, buy it how we can. 
the oldest church. So this is this, yeah. this was built by uh, Molasses. That's over hundred years old, about one twenty it's up to now. And this is one of the safest harbors you can dock your boat during any kind of storm. Very safe in here. Okay. Everybody got it? You can roll? Okay. These are very expensive houses, guys. This house under the hill, it costs like over 500,000 US dollars to build. It's over a million dollars in Eastern Caribbean. You understand? No, for Antigua and the beaches was a different story. No, the only difference I find is with Antigua Beach is it is very deep very early what i meant by that is as soon as you step in the water all you need is like two steps and the water is already at your neck Now this other view that I'm showing you guys, this is in St. Lucia. I didn't get the chance to video coming out of St. Lucia because it was raining. In St. Lucia, it was pure hills here and where we are, we are at the, we're at the volcano. No, we're at a live volcano that is not dead. And basically, the person or the guide, street guide or, or volcano guide, said the volcano is sleeping. No, when I was videoing, I could see some, well, I don't know if it's at water or at something, but it's bubbling, like shooting up, not extra, not high, but it's going up in the air. This water that they, they are touching is basically like what the girl explained. It's more have to do with um, because the volcano, because we are over the volcano right now. And I was told from we start the mountain and coming up to near this section or this distance, we are already on the volcano. So now we are, I don't know what they call this again, if it's the, the high or it's where the peak is, but that's where we are at the moment and to be honest with you guys after thinking i'm saying to myself what the unheard was i thinking so as you can see i'm gonna zoom in as you can see the volcano is boiling up like it's still active like it's still you know having the bubbly sign i don't know what to say but it is hot extremely hot down there you know what I mean? And that's what's going on with the volcano at the moment. And 
I don't know, I was thinking like one of those things can shoot off at any minute. You know what I mean? And I was there. Don't ask me why, but I was there. And I also did the mud bath. And the mud bath is actually this this mud that you see is boiling up there. You have there's another section that run the mud water go all the way down into a pan. And we did a mud bath there. And trust me, the mud bath uh the water was this is not the greatest smell because it smelled like something died like a rotten egg or it's not a wonderful smell but i went in the mud still the mud was a gray looking black looking mud it had white mud too and i was in there for and it was extremely hot and he had like three sections and i went in the second one and it was still hot and the first one was oh my like it, it feel like some pin is juking in your skin or something but um the feeling that you you get after you you come out and you wash off and stuff like that you it's like your skin feel so smooth you know but yeah we i did it and yeah so we didn't get to go to any beach in st lucia because of the rain because right after this it started pouring down so we have to went back to the ship so yeah so st lucia wasn't I didn't get so much of St. Lucia and then uh, um, there, there wasn't a lot of, well, I don't know if you want to call it in the ill in the scenery, but I wasn't feeling in, um, St. Lucia so much, but it was okay. It was a nice island and the people there are okay, which we didn't even get that type of experience to anyone really more than the tour guide that we had. But other than that, yeah, St. Lucia was one of the spots so thanks now this is in Barbados and this is after we came off the ship or I don't know when I did this video but this is what when you came off the ship what they greet us with and this port is basically at one of their wharf I could say port so what I did in in, in Barbados I we just went straight to the beach. We didn't do a tour. We didn't um, do any of that uh, excursion. Or that's what they call it. We you know they take us around and tell us about the, the island and stuff. We didn't go on that mission because we went straight to the beach and we go sparkling, sparkling, sparkling. I don't know what it's called. I have a problem with that word. But anyway, we go look under. The water so we went out in this boat and that's where we get to see a lot of fishes because it was a like a fish wreck out there like a fish that sunk and it's under the water for a while and there's a ton of fish there so we saw a lot of fish and then we see some monster turtle oh my goodness i saw the biggest turtle i ever i saw donatello i saw leonardo i saw Raphael. i know I saw Michael Lynch. I saw all the Ninja Turk. They were so big. I think the turkey could talk. To be honest, it's big. But yeah, I saw uh, the biggest turkey I ever saw, and we saw a uh, stingray. But the stingray was all the way down, touching the the, 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 the seabed. But because where we were was extra deep. But we had uh, this boat has give us life guards and our life jackets, I should say. And you know, it it was nice. And then on the final day back, we were coming back home. Cruisers finished and we tried out the karaoke. That video will be coming up soon. Oh my goodness, this video is so long. I want to tell you guys, thanks for watching. And if you make it all the way to this section. I know I told you guys I was going to do the... Tell you guys how much it costs and everything. I'm going to do that in a follow-up video. This video is extremely long. Thanks for watching and please leave me your comments. Please leave me your thoughts. Please leave me everything. For more videos like this, please subscribe.